Okay, okay. Void, Void in the chat is asking, who is Paul? Paul is, uh, the man I'm bringing up on stream, the new guy that is, uh, the guy who's cucking, uh, Spider-Man. The guy who is, uh, currently fucking MJ after he pushed Peter Parker into this damn stupid machine and he got stuck outside of time. This moving plot device that me and almost every other person I have talked to is begging to actually just be Mephisto in disguise. That is Paul. He's obviously just a self-insert from our world, though, no, which no. is kind of crazy. I will show my utter disdain for, for this comment. I, I will pull it up on screen right now. Uh, we, we will pack this comic live. Hit the screen. All right. Here we go. Pull up the image of him hitting uh, Spider-Man. That too. Spider-Man just can't catch a break. He's Marvel's punching bag. Oh, my God. That, true. Okay, Peter specifically, I would agree. Miles is very beloved right now. In the public eye, Miles is, like, seen as, like, an icon. His suit is iconic. Like, his movies are amazing. Like, like everything is amazing when it comes to Miles. But then people think about Peter. Yeah. And Peter in the comic is a, is, a, is a weak cuck who's fucking befriending his old villains and losing his ex-wife. Here's the thing with, uh, are everything they're doing, right? Spider-Man should be doing the grown man shit. And everything that Peter Parker was, you should just have Miles do it at a, like a different thing. Like at some at some point, Spider Man has to grow up and move on from MJ, bro. That's the only that's the only way you're getting that's the only way you're getting away from this shit. I mean, like to an extent, I guess, but like. I feel like it's much more endemic of the problem of just like they perpetually want Peter to stay young. Like if if they would just come up with something for Peter to do as an adult, like even what they were doing with with Parker Industries and Superior Spider Man is infinitely more interesting than what they're doing. Here. Okay, so my, like your audience doesn't get any younger, bro. Like comic book fans aren't getting any younger. It's better to, like, have him doing grown man shit, like, I don't know, owning a company, like, falling in love, getting a wife, instead of, like, chasing after Mary Jane. Mary Jane has, like, you see, you see, like, in her goals, right? She wants to be an actor and go to Hollywood. He can just, you you can have that be the reason that they break up instead of this shit. Like, what? like she wants to go to Hollywood to be an actor, and he wants to stay in New York to be, to go to college or something, to be next to uh, Aunt May. The different, like, changes to, like, like, the way that they write Mary Jane has also massively changed over the years because of the different writers. Whether or not her interest is to, like, be an actress or to dance or whether or not she wants to be, like, independent or, like, try to be, like, a journalist type thing, like the Spyro PS4 game, is, like, entirely, like, dependent on, like, who is trying to write the character. And now she just seems like she's been completely delegated to being a fucking stay-at-home mom and is, like basically 10 years peter senior also have you like have you like seen how they always try to make peter parker poor yes like they every time that peter gets some me measurable like quantifiable level of success they like take it away from him so that way he's more relatable you have been seen in the uh the uh, spider-man games he has to go uh dumpster diving for parts and shit well, okay, but that is, like, that's that's a different situation. He got evicted in that moment. Also, I gotta say, yeah, but, a lot of the artwork in this book is bad. Yeah, but, like, he's, he's, just, he's just not stable. Yeah, that drawing is, like, like not bad. Like, okay, like, right here, this page isn't bad. This is a really weird, like, this is supposed to, uh, the, 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 okay, the difference in detail between MJ's face and Peter's face is, like, um, is, like, so different that it looks like different artists. Mm. Like that, they the mouths don't look like they're drawn the same at all. Yeah, they put a little bit more detail on her. They put way more detail on her. Mm. Like I like I don't know. Like like it feels like. And then you get to, like, the stuff with the villain one year earlier, and it's at a Rikers Island, and you see the villains. And, like, this shit looks ugly. 
PS4 Spidey was an Why? amazing story, not going to lie. Much better than the recent run in the comics. Yeah, you're right. PS4 Spider-Man was amazing. Why do they have these uh, serious black-ass tattoos? I don't know, bro. Because they're just edgy. Bro. Why are, why are all the edgy people the main comic book writers? Why can't we get a normal balance? This is so lame. How did Peter even suit up this fast? What what what's wrong with his back? Oh I hear or oh I oh this guy yeah. I do not know who you are, but you did a lot of damage to that nice lady's apartment right when her boyfriend was gonna move in. Oh my god. Is he talking about Paul? Or wait, no, is this Man, is is this someone else? That's a speed feat, bro, putting on that costume that fast. Oh, no. No, this is a flashback. I forgot about this. Yeah, remember this happening in ASM 894? Uh, fucking. He is talking about this nice lady's apartment, her, her boyfriend who's about to move in. This is the most cock dialogue ever. Like, you're going to keep your hands off of that woman and her boyfriend with a massive penis. The C word, Connor, is now at two. Uh, Nobody cares about I mean, any of this shit. This shit is so fucking hokey. They get sent to this fucking alternate dimension by this fucking shirtless dude from Rikers Island. And shit is care? so desperate that Peter's only friend is Norman fucking Osborne. Bro, I'm going to say this, and people are going to give me slack for it, but, like, Dr. Octopus should have kept, like, a clone body of Peter, at least. I mean, at this point, they, the Spider-Verse is so ingrained into Peter Parker's stories that the idea that there isn't just a superior Spider-Man story that's going where Peter just never took the body back, like, is retarded. Like, they could have still Ooh, just, like, they could literally just have a Superior Spider-Man book going that's like, what if Peter actually died in the original thing? And, like, the only thing that's different and is that. This story is, like, making Mary Jane seem like, it, it's, how do you say it? It's a bad look for women. Yeah, it's a bad look for women. This story is a very bad look for women. And I'm also going to say this. Paul is a, a kind of a bad look for men. And, like, okay, the whole thing with Paul, even if Paul is not retconned to be Mephisto, is going to always make people uncomfortable. Because the idea that you and another person are sealed outside of time, and you have to, like, like you are the only people that are there, eventually you're gonna want to fuck something. Like, like, even, like the idea of you being coerced into sex is, is much more possible in a scenario where you and the other person are, like, two of the only beings inside of this, like, outside-of-time reality. Like, like, there is nothing else you can do. There is no internet. There is no entertainment. They are living in a post-apocalypse. Yeah, say, saying this stuff about women, though. Like, I think that the, you say that I were, like, the thing about men. Wow, uh, what? You said like, the I word, the thing about men. Oh, incel? Yeah, 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 we can talk about incel. Alright, the incel community is like, uh, how do you say? Every time they get inside a position of power, they always use it to demean men. I mean, demean women in a way that, like, is always so stupid. What do you mean? Like, they, they they demean men to their baser instincts, and they demean women to be, like, sex robots and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the incel mindset, like, is very reductionist and ends up, like, turning, like, men and women into, like, caricatures. Like, I get what you're saying. Bro, it's basically like, oh, uh, I'm gonna be big and strong, and, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get the girls and shit. Like, it's like, it's like these people who follow, like, a certain... Uh, man's advice 
and they go out there and like they fail because they aren't like a millionaire with a Bugatti and shit. But mind you, like the modern incel audience is what Marvel thinks is relatable because they're fat men in their forties that can't keep a relationship. And the closest thing that they can find like camaraderie with the youth with is the fact that they're also not getting sex. It's not that they even like these characters. It's not that they have similar life experience. It's not even that they both like their country. There is no common shared ground between young and old people anymore like there was in the old days when old people wrote comics and young people read them. Mm. Nowadays, it's 30-somethings selling comics to 20-somethings, and the 20-somethings are disgusted that the 30-year-olds are so out of touch. Like, that's how big the generational gap has gotten in between years. 20-year-olds are disgusted that 30-year-olds are too out of touch. I mean, like, the, the disconnection between, like, ages is always going to be a thing. But it's gotten severely worse to the point where it is tangibly affecting our media. To the point where young people want Spider-Man to be a happy, go, like a happy-go-lucky, like the mental association that they have with Spider-Man. And what do they do with him in recent comics? They have him fight these weird extra-dimensional entities, lose his wife, fucking everything may be set up for like a deal, uh, like another deal with the devil. Now let's talk about uh, the wokeness that uh, comes into comic book play. See, I don't... The main thing with, like, quote-unquote woke comic books is mainly just the idea that, like, real-life things have penetrated the narrative of fictional stories. Like, that's the problem with things that are quote-unquote woke. People don't care about the ideology because at its core, things that are quote-unquote woke a lot of the times are things people agree with. Equal rights between the genders, races, things like that. You know, the support of someone to marry whoever they want. You know, freedom of religion. These, these are ideas that some people would consider woke to be discussed in a piece of media, but at its core, things that we agree with. And their values aren't even things that we necessarily hate being in our stories. It's just the way that it's presented that we hate. So, like, it really just becomes, like, we need better writers making things. Like, like the whole reason people hate quote unquote woke things is literally just because they want like less, less like transparent media. They want actual entertainment. See, here's the thing with like the wokeness though. If you're gonna be woke, you should like. If you're gonna do things with like characters and stuff, like Malkan, right? I have no problem with her being Middle Eastern or whatever she is, right? And like bringing her and like having like a religious story about her, like like if you're gonna make a character like gay or bi or trans or something, bro, like you can make a new character for that. But at some point, at some point, at some point, like you're gonna like certain characters, like they have like a long history of being with somebody, like somebody like Superboy. He has like a long history of like uh being with the King Titans and shit. Okay, but like. Uh, my the only thing that really bad that's been happening in comic books is like them just randomly making characters gay that like like actually gay that already have like canonical like like love histories. That's the only like weird thing that gets me. I don't if a character has like no known like love story or anything like that. I think introducing a sexuality to them I don't think is like always that bad. But the idea of, like, just taking a random character that just currently isn't with another person and just being like, yeah, they're gay now. Like, what they did with, like, Tim Drake, making him just buy randomly just to sell books. Like, and now they've just, like, made John Kent Superboy gay after, like, aging him up, like, outside of time for years. So it's like, they, like, I, as someone that considers, that is of that, you know, of a similar leaning, I guess you could say. I, I don't hate those things being in media, but it is very transparent, like, what the point is. Like, people don't write John Kent Superboy to be gay because, like, they care about gay people. Because they think it'll sell books to gay people. They think that, like, the guys that don't want to read Superman books associate Superman with being a right-wing chud. And they want to make, like a, like, a liberal woke Superman. Like, that's, that's kind of what they're doing. Like, like they want to they have their cake and eat it too. 
They want they want to have two separate depictions of Superman, like the the truth, justice, and the American way, and like some sort of like milk toast American modern heroism idea, like for for John. It's really weird. It's like it's all about like climate change and protesting and all this. Like, when's he actually just gonna like you know save somebody from a car crash or like you know stop someone from jumping off of a building to their death? You know, there's a really beautiful Superman comic where there's a woman that's about to jump off of a building and he shows up and talks her down. You know, if only they could give you know Jonathan Kent you know some stories like that to show a little bit of humanity. Mm. instead of just having him kiss some Asian twink with pink hair. See, bro, like, it's, isn't it, like, I look at these pictures, like, I literally just, I googled John Kent boyfriend, and this guy just looks like a plot device. Like, I don't see a character, like, okay. If I look That's up... That's also a fucking shirt. But I can google Lois Lane, and I don't see a woman in provocative positions. I see a journalist. I see an independent woman. I see an adult. No, even until, like, literally, and there's only been, like, two images so far, three of her being held by Superman. Like, like it doesn't, like, her, even her Google image results don't depict her as a, as a damsel in distress. It does not depict her as, as like, you know, depicts her as, as a woman that can take care of herself. Literally just looking at her. You look up John Kent's oh. boyfriend, and he's got those ugu anime eyes. He's fucking kissing. He's all over him. He's got those big, full, gay lips. Like, you cannot make a lower testosterone male. Bro. <laughs> okay. Like, how do I say this? Okay, I'll, I'll say it like this. I'll say it like this. It's, but it, isn't Bro, it, isn't it transparent, though? Right, like, like, and why? How? Why can't he be independent? Why can't he be his own character? If he's gonna, if he's what? going to be in a close relationship with Superman, why can't he be like a sidekick? I, I have to address this point by point because it's like, a, okay, uh, just don't say Lois anything to incriminate Lane, yourself. Lois Lane, right? Being like an independent, independent woman, right? That's like. That's like an homage to like modern society, you know. This is this, shit like that, like propaganda, propaganda like that is how women end up lonely and shit, you know. Ah, uh, I would say that Lois Lane has always been depicted as like an independent journalist that was always like a working woman. Like I don't like. Yes, she she's not like the w modern woman though. When she at when she settled down with uh with Clark and shit, they had a kid together. And she stopped work. She stopped working as much, and she took care of the kid. She, you know, she still works at the like. Like she still works. Like I don't. I understand the point. Yeah, I understand the point you're trying to make, but like, that is still like what she wants, and is a form of happiness, like for uh, for her in a way. Like, and that's she, like, but she still had an era of independence, maturity, and was defined as being like her own adult woman. Jonathan Kent it and his boyfriend are forever going to be like eternal man children plot devices. Just because DC okay. is going to want to keep them young and gay, they are never going to actually be like they're never actually going to do anything cool and interesting. They're just going to be the cute gay boys. That about one second, one second. Okay. Uh somebody like Lois Lane, right? She's she never lost like her feminine touch, right? So she was she was a woman through and through. What what she what she was was like a grown independent woman. She knew what she wanted, and then once she once she got a husband and a kid, right? She she took care of both. She learned how, she learned how to balance both. Of them. What I'm saying is she's she's grown, right? These two are children. Like they shouldn't even. They should, they're like se honesty. they are like seventeen, and also. Narratively, if you are going to remove Jonathan Kent out of the time stream and then age him up to an adulthood so that way he can be the new Superman, like, because he's not called Superboy anymore. He's just called Superman. Like, he's just the other Superman. The... So, the like, he, he's old enough to not be a boy anymore. 
And DC and DC artists aren't considered creeps for drawing pictures of him kissing on his boyfriend, so he's at least that old. So like I'm saying that the that the lack of maturity in his stories and the fact that they're keeping it to like this high school rom com nonsense and protesting is what is going to eternally keep this interpretation of Superman and his boyfriend like in the gutter. Meanwhile, like Lois Lane and Super and like Clark Kent are always going to be beloved. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying right that they're they're young and like the writers don't know how to write like young characters. Well, also. They don't know how to write young characters while also... Uh, they should have made him older that. then. That's what I was saying. Like, narratively, they could have made him any age. You're making him old enough to be the new Superman. He could have been fucking 75. <laughs> like, legit... The, okay, Michael Keaton is wearing a fucking bat suit. Michael Keaton Flash movie. They have Michael Keaton, this 80-year-old fucking man, strapped up in his latex costume one one damn last time. They probably got a CGI jawline in every scene of this movie where he's talking. There ain't no way he's actually doing any fucking action scene, alright? I, I look at Michael Keaton. I love the guy. You know what I mean? But he's probably just an old guy trying to, uh, trying to cash a check, right? I look at Michael Keaton and I see a guy that's, uh, he probably just wants to golf. <laughs> Bro, like, what what I'll say about that, like, like, to end, like, to, like, try to get off of this point, because, like, I don't, I think we agree on this, like, uh, some, like, Lois Lane, it, Lois Lane and Superman are different from whatever that, it, that shit is, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, okay, I understand what you're trying to say, but narratively, it is a, it is, it is love, it is a love story. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of whatever opinion you want to have about it, you can write gay romance equally as interesting as you can write straight romance. There is no reason why I'm not you saying... can't, unless you're just not a talent. I know you're not saying that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, like in general, writers, if you are a good writer, can write gay romance that is equally as interesting as straight romance. And if you are going, to, and if you're going to make it a main part of the story, to fucking take like take it or leave it, like like make it good. The, the Spider-Man comics, whenever they would bother with a love story with MJ, it was because it was interesting. People wanted Peter to end up with MJ. Having John have this massive time skip, and then in one issue, just introducing that he has a new boyfriend, takes any air out of the situation. There is no will they, won't they. There is no tension because it's literally he already has it. What does he have to earn? And all the problems that this Superman wants to fix are problems that are nebulous and invisible and we can't fix in real life, like racism and climate change. Things that if you fixed in a comic book, you would seem racist or terrible. Because you can't write a story where Superman just flies around the world and fixes racism with laser beams. Because if you do that, you reduce real-world realistic issues into sounding like things that could be solved with violence. <clears throat> I'll say this, like, having him, like, man, that's a comic book, and and comic books are always, he uses propaganda pieces, bro, and the propaganda pieces are in the hands of whoever they're in the hands of. Right now, they're in the hands of these, uh, hands of these people, and hopefully they can't stand again. I, I think I understand what you're trying to say, Federer, but I think that there is a definitive difference between Captain America selling war bonds in the 1940s and them trying to sell teenagers on being gay. Like, like I think that there is a difference. There is a definitive difference in that. I'm saying that right now the propaganda tools have changed hands. But the, the, the government was paying Marvel and DC to do those things back when wars were happening before. Now writers and editors are just doing these things freely because they think it's what will make money. They are manipulating what they think are like the lost minorities that just haven't found their way to Marvel and DC Comics yet. Like they think that there's just a huge unsought after market out there of people that just don't feel like they're being marketed enough to. And that's why they're not consuming comics. No, the reason people aren't consuming the comics is because they're not fucking good. They're not writing anything interesting. Not with Superman, not with Batman, not with Spider-Man, not with the Fantastic Four, not with fucking anybody right now. See, Batman... How do I say it? Batman's Bat family is a little too big. 
What were you saying? What would you say about Batman? Batman? There are too many people in the Bat family. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, okay. Let, let's play guess that Bat family member. All right? It's it's not going to work. I know all their names. You know you know all their names? All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Give give me his code name. Get to pull up the stream. Give me his code name, his first and last name. Batwing. Uh, that's nope. Lucius Fox. Nope. Son. Nope. What? This is the only member of the Bat family with superpowers. Yeah, I don't know that one. This is Signal. Is. He's not based on a bat. He's based on the light source that gives Batman the call. He he's he's the signal. <laughs> What's his name? Duke Thomas. Oh, that's uh that's a dude who uh fights at fights at uh daytime while Batman fights at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. He's he's not like yeah, yeah, that's the guy that fights during the day, right? Yeah, yeah. Void in the chat got it. Yeah, like it's not like a terrible idea. It's just it's it's a really funny costume and idea of like, oh we're gonna have a bat guy. What's his name? The signal. Man, Void, you you should come in VC, man. Oh yeah, Void, if you're an error, you can slide in VC, man. I mean, I appreciate that you're like giving me giving me the viewer. I like I like I love it, man. Yeah, but... stay, stay in the chat, but stay in the chat, but come in VC too. Reminds me of Wolverine, not gonna lie. Yeah, the costume does have like heavy Wolverine vibes. I do like like the baton thing, kind of similar to Nightwing, and kind of how I like the. How it has like a half of like a, a bat on each side, kind of giving it like a like a claw hammer type thing. I got enough giving it some more tactical angles, maybe. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the words like the ways that you could use it in a fight, kind of similar to like a cross guard. Well, that that's a bad weapon, bro. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. 